Hey guys, on today's episode of the Pellet Deep Dive series, we're going to take a second look at the 22 cal Snowpeak PP750 with Field Target Trophy and Barracuda 15 pellets from H&N. The red dot that we had on the gun last time has been switched out for a 3 12 by 32 UTG Bugbuster scope. The groups from the last video weren't horrible, but I could definitely do better with a scope over a dot. I thought that the Bugbuster would be an appropriate optic for this gun, but after filming this video, I've come to the conclusion that I don't really like this particular combination. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I keep coming back to the combination of the Bugbuster's poor eye relief and small eye box. Which is strange, because though I've realized the scope had these limitations in the past, they've never really bothered me on any other gun. I do think that the Bugbuster is a great, well-made product line. That limited eye relief is irritating enough for me personally that I don't think I'll ever buy another one. I do have a few UTG red dots that I absolutely love though, so no hate towards UTG. It's likely just a personal preference. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. For the next video that features this gun, I think I'll switch out to a different scope. I'm just not sure which one yet though. All the groups in this video will be shot at 20 meters from a rifle rest using a magazine, and I'll be doing 7 shot groups instead of 5, and the footage will be sped up to save time. Okay, let's get shooting. The first group was just to check zero, or to make sure that I'm actually hitting the target. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to re-zero this, because I'll be moving it back to my Deanna Chaser once I'm done here, and I'm not a fan of having to re-zero scopes too much if I can avoid it. The zero is close enough for our purposes today. The test group was shot using 15.89 grain Barracuda 15 pellets. I'd like to also point out that I've never realized how much these targets move around when you shoot them if they're only pinned down in one spot. From now on I'll be sure to affix them from two or more points. Targets moving all over the place is hardly conducive to providing accurate grouping data. I'm sure it's become apparent to most of you already, but you guys will have to bear with me as I sort of figure out what I'm doing on the fly on this pellet testing journey of mine. I'm certainly not a professional uh, <laughs> anything when it comes to shooting, but one of the best ways to learn is to do, so here we are. Our second group will be shot using the Barracuda 15, and it's a little better than the first, but I'm not too happy with those two lower flyers. For the third group, I'm switching to the 14.66 grain field target trophy pellets. Despite the fact that I got three of the seven shots through the same hole, this isn't really a great group, and it kind of mimics what I was getting in the last video with the red dot. the fourth group, I'm back to the Barracuda 15s, and besides the first hit that was absolutely me pulling the shot, and the third shot that I pulled a little high, this is a pretty solid group, and I'm happy with this. To the field target trophies for the fifth and final group, and here we have another fairly inconsistent result, with a few pellets close together and a few scattered about. I'm just going to call it and say that even though the field target trophy could work for you in this specific gun, they're likely not the ideal pellet. The Barracuda 15 show much more potential, and they'll be moving forward in the pellet testing for this gun as we add more 22 cal pellets into the mix, as well as a more suitable scope in the next video. Let me know your thoughts about any of this down in the comments below, and feel free to like or subscribe if that's the sort of thing you're into. 
and be sure to check out my friends over at HNN Sport. They make these pellet testing videos possible by providing me with plenty of their fantastic ammo. I'll drop their info down in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a great day!